with the Rush Limbaugh program weekdays at 10 and Sunday mornings at 11 on Cheyenne's number one news talk radio, KGAB. 8.34 is the time. It's AM 650 KGAB Radio. My name is Glenn Woods. Thanks for joining me. Well, you've been asking for them, and Taylor, they have been asking. In fact, even this morning before you came down the hallway with me, people were calling up going, when's he on? It's like 8.30. 8.30, he's on. So we even did a little uh, website story saying, you're going to be on at 8.30. Because people have questions. So Dr. Taylor Haynes is in the studio with me. And by the way, for this half hour that I have you on, if anyone has any questions or concerns, 632-6500 Six three two sixty five hundred is the phone number. We can go ahead and answer the question. So let's jump right into what the main concern was. I remember I ran into you at a plaza when I first moved to town, and I asked where you were, and you had said, "Well, you had since we last talked, you had purchased a ranch. You're over located here now, and so when it comes time for you to run for election this time around, suddenly someone throws up. Well, wait a second now." When he lays down his head, he's on the Colorado side. And so that threw into uh, play whether you're actually a citizen of Wyoming or not. Okay, so the answer is? The answer is I'm a Wyoming citizen. And that address, 795 Bull Mountain Road and 790 Bull Mountain Road, the residence is on the, at the headquarters, have been a Albany County resident since 18, 17, 1890, or 1880, brother, 1880. Yeah. So before Wyoming was a state. And people at that address have run for office in Albany County, have voted in Albany County, sent their kids to school in Albany County. And that's not the first case. Uh, a gentleman by the name of Dean Prosser, who was uh, south of Cheyenne, had the same situation. He owned a store here in Cheyenne, mm-hmm. actually ANC Feed, and his kids went to school here, and he was running for the legislature, and the same question was raised. And the, sim- the only similarities between Dean Prosser and myself, we're both ranchers, and we're both constitutional conservatives. Right. Not that that would be an no, issue for anybody. Like that. And, and it's interesting enough, you brought up off air Ron Michael I, yeah. another constitutional conservative rancher who had a dirty trick played on his campaign. And that's what it reminded me of is what got you in the race and how you and I met in the first place. Michael I was forced out by dirty tricks, is an easy way to put it, without getting into the whole story. And that got you upset, and you went ahead and, as a write-in candidate, jumped into ran the race. In, yeah, okay. ran as an independent. So all these years later, here we are right back in the same situation yeah, it, again, is what you're saying. That's right. Okay. And so I understand the voters' const- voters' consternation, but they need to understand that, that because of name recognition and the absolute no change in my platform, promising to deliver on the Constitution with yeah. enough business experience to run the store, and with enough in-depth Wyoming knowledge to really do a good job for us, you, they can't tackle my platform. Right. They when, can't deal with my God-given gifts, so they got to do something. So they got to do something. Well, let, let's take a look at, and this is some of the questions and concerns that I'm getting. Like, for example, okay, so that road is the address that you're using. Right. That you're saying? Okay. But then the question would be, and people have said to me, but if you look at a satellite photograph, where's the house? Does that count for anything? No. Why not? Because residence is where you matriculate. See, okay. if that counted, we wouldn't do, use absentee ballots for people in the military, for mm-hmm. people whose company assigned them to different states for years sometimes, but they're still Wyoming residency. So it's where you matriculate. Now, understand that Colorado has decided that that address would never be a Colorado address, and I don't blame them. It'll be maybe $20 million to build a road to mm-hmm. that one place. I see. And so, so your only access is from the Wyoming side. Right. Right, and my only services are from Wyoming. For instance, if I'd call the sheriff, you'd call the Albany County Sheriff. Okay. If, if I would, uh, all of my services that would be from the county are from Albany County. And I voted in Albany County, and all of the previous residents there have voted in Albany County. Now, my understanding when I read uh, the judge's decision, but correct me where I'm wrong about this, it seemed to me that what the judge was saying is, but where you're... Uh, th- those people who brought this against you within the state were not in any position to say that you could not be on the ballot. Therefore, they had no standing in this at all. But does that still answer the residency question in court? Well, <clears throat> the residency question can be answered in court, but here's the yeah. thing people need to remember. The judge said they have no merit. Yeah. He said they have no stand. They had no standing to get an injunction to, to push me off the ballot right. because it violates due process. 
and then we would have had a trial. But he mm. says, why have a trial when you can't win on the merits? And the merits are whether or not they can demonstrate that I'm not a Wyoming citizen. And, of course, they can't demonstrate that. Okay. See, with 35 years of Wyoming driver's licenses, voting records, and, and all of those things, so would that mean that all of those elections are null and void? And mm. I even got a jury summons from that address. And so uh, that's a Wyoming address. Okay. Never mind. And the other problem is the state line isn't clear there. I understand GPS and satellite. It doesn't work in the country 100%. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So then the next question that comes up is, I, I remember, it was explain the email thing to me. So when all of this came out, wasn't it an email or something? It was an was anonymous there? email. And okay. see, there's another flaw in their case. And there's two things there. It's reasonable, I think, that the Attorney General and Secretary of State would file a complaint. Okay, right. that's the process, right? Right. But when they give a press conference, and these are experienced lawyers, even though they're government lawyers, they're experienced lawyers. When you give a press conference to make your point, it suggests that you know you don't have a case. Mm. And so it was determined, it was designed to confuse and frighten the voters. Mm. And I have to point out that the appointed, not yet elected, Secretary of State was Harriet's campaign chairman okay. and gave her $1,000. Okay. Now, I'm not saying he's crooked, but I'm saying that's an interesting fact that the people need to weigh as well. So this comes down to if, you're gonna, if you voted for me, I'm telling you your vote's good. Okay. If you vote for me on Tuesday, I'm telling you your vote's good. Now, what are you hanging your hat on? 35 years of my work and service in this state. Mm -hmm. And my reputation is beyond my academic gifts. My reputation is being honest as the day is long. And that's really what I've traded on. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> well, then, uh, j just real quick, now, I'm, I'm curious, do we have any idea who? And I, I can see motivation from several different campaigns. Sure. Let's thin the field out. But oh, well, if you're going to make me point the finger, I'm going to yeah. point it at Harriet Hagman. Okay. Well, there's not. another thing, another reason that you'd want to take me out of the race, not just about okay. being governor. Harriet represents a firm or, or a coalition called Wyoming Colorado Coalition right. who want to take over the Green River. They want to move control of our water from state-owned state control to a regional water right. management concern. Well, that puts Wyoming competing with the major metropolitan right. areas in the upper and lower basin. And there are billions of dollars on the project, on the table in that project. Right. I'm not saying where the money's going or who's what, but she's on record saying that Denver has a right, for instance, to build a pipeline from Flaming Gorge. So Colorado has a right to build a pipeline from Flaming Gorge to the Front Range. Mm. And they know that Governor Taylor Haynes would say ain't happening. Okay. Uh, I got callers on hold in that one. But hang on, because, of course, I, I know you're, this is going to catch you off guard, but there's all these people running for office, and they're filling our airways with commercials. AM 650, KGAB. Hello, this is M. Lee Hazenar. I'm your common-sense Republican candidate for Laramie County Commissioner. I'm pro-Second Amendment, pro-military, pro-property rights, pro-Constitution, pro-life, pro-limited government, pro-mom-and-pop businesses. As County Commissioner, I have signed the No New Tax Pledge. I will promise to make myself available and be a servant to my constituents. I'll be looking for ways to save the taxpayers' money. I'm asking for your vote early or on August 21st. Vote for M. Lee Hazenauer for Laramie County Commission. Together, we can make Laramie County great again. Paid for and approved by M. Lee Hazenauer. Hi, I'm Liz Cheney, and I'm running for re-election as Wyoming's lone representative in the United States Congress. I'm running to represent you because results matter and promises matter. As Wyoming's voice, I've championed conservative reform to create jobs, cut taxes and regulation, expand Wyoming's energy, mining, and ag industries, and restore the strength and power of America around the world. I've kept my campaign promises to reduce the size of government and roll back harmful Obama-era regulations that hurt Wyoming's economy, threaten our workers and families, and amount to a war on our way of life. As a proud constitutional conservative, I have fought alongside President Trump to oppose amnesty, crack down on illegal immigration, preserve and expand our constitutional rights, including our Second Amendment rights, and protect life by defunding Planned Parenthood. I'd be honored to receive your vote on August 21st to ensure that Wyoming's voice remains as strong as possible. Paid for by Liz Cheney for Wyoming. If your tires hold more excuses than air, that's a big oh no. 
Now through August 25th, save $100 instantly on sets of four Big O brand tires with paid installation. Plus, get up to a $50 mail-in rebate on purchases of $500 or more when using your Big O credit card. Valid at participating locations. Up to 10% shop fee based on non-discounted retail price not to exceed $35. Disposal fees extra were permitted. Not valid with other offers. See store for pricing. Mail-in rebate subject to credit approval. Not valid with other credit rebate offers. See rebate form for terms and conditions. Republican Senator Al Simpson. Hello, Wyoming. Al Simpson here. Now, billionaire outsiders are using anonymous and sinister front groups to tell Wyoming folks who to vote for for governor. Mark Gordon's always played it straight by asking for our support based on his record earned right here in Wyoming. The others can't do that, so they cheat. Vote for Mark Gordon. Don't be deceived by money, ego, and power. Paid for by friends of Mark Gordon. The KGAB Wyoming Wake Up with Glenn Woods on AM 650. 845 is the time, AM 650 KGAB Radio. Off to the phones we go. Dr. Taylor Haynes sitting in the studio with us. If you have any questions, 632-6500. This is Glenn. Who's on the phone with us? Hello, this is Becky. Hello, Becky. What you got? Well, since Dr. Haynes brought up the issue of water, I would like to ask him what position he's been offered in the Gordon administration. Nice try, Becky. Mark and I are competing very hard for the same position, and I don't have a position in his administration or any other administration. I have two very successful companies, and I don't need a job. But I brought up water because it's in writing. Look it up. It's in writing. It's on my website, and then you can go and see that I haven't edited any articles. If you really want to know what's going on with that water, look it up. Hmm. Yeah, to accuse me of needing a job. You know, it doesn't even bother me. I, I find it to be very amusing. I, I appreciate the nice try, but that wasn't working. If anyone else would like to try in, 632 Come on, get me. That's 632 He's got his dukes up. He's ready for you. So yeah. let's talk about water for just a minute because I'm looking at Flaming Gorge area. Sure. And I'm also looking at uh, water issues that were talked about, I mean, for decades and beyond that here in the United States, and a lot of issues settled, although still contentious. So does Colorado uh, have the right to lay claim to any of our water under, you know, uh, okay, past Okay, under present? 1922 or 27 compact. I don't store those numbers in my head. Mm-hmm. I know we have a compact. They have, I think, uh, been adjudicated 40-some percent in Wyoming, 14% okay. roughly. So they have a share of the water, and here is what Governor Haynes is going to do. They can take their share of the water after it crosses the state line. Right. If you're dumb enough to allow a major metropolitan area with millions of screaming people get their pipe into your pond, you just lost mm-hmm. control of your pond. Okay. But isn't part of that, though, part of the deal that we're making was, well, water flows across the country. Sure. And so you, you can't stop the flow to them. In other words, we no, can't just no. dam it all up. No, we won't stop the yeah. flow. They're going to get their share, but mm-hmm. they can deal with it after it crosses, after it leaves Wyoming is my point. Okay. See, here's another thing. In the upper Green River Basin, Cheyenne went after their water before. Yeah. And if they change what they do up there, that turns into a desert pretty quick. You'd be it surprised. Does, yeah. It turns into a desert pretty quick. So we're going to protect the Green River as it is, Flaming Gorge as it is. Back to the phones I go on with Dr. Taylor Haynes. Who's with us? Hi, this is Maureen. Good yes. morning, Glenn. Good morning. Good morning, Doctor. Morning, Maureen. I'm just, I'm just so pleased that you're on the radio and that you have a chance to really tell people what is happening. And I just want to encourage those who had at one time supported you, and because of all this mess, you know, uh, some people think that they want to vote for a winner, and whether you win or not, you are a winner. You are a winner, and I want people to continue to support you because you will be the best thing that has happened to uh, this uh, state in the 15 years that I've been here. So God bless you. And uh, many people are praying that this will all fall out just right. And uh, you are you are just the best, Taylor. And I'm I'm proud to know uh, I'm proud to know you. And and um, you just will make things right in this state for the first time since I've lived here. Thanks a lot, and God bless you. God bless you, Maureen. Thank you very much. That's very humbling and encouraging. So quite a few supporters out there. And the reason I say that is I get call from people uh, on a regular basis who are supporters of yours but they still worry about that issue, and they're still looking at the court case. And, and that's the reason that uh, that they brought this action. That's the reason, because yeah. they knew it would confuse voters, and they knew that residents in, 
is not clearly understood. And those things are hard to settle out. So the voters have to decide if I am trustworthy or not. Okay. And that's just what it comes down to. And I guarantee you, if you vote for me, your vote's good. And if enough of you vote for me, you'll get your state fixed. All right. I've got more callers on hold. But first, AM650 KGAB. Before David Dotson started talking about putting Wyoming first, he had a few other firsts. He first lived in Massachusetts, where he voted as a Democrat just a few years ago. Before landing in Jackson Hole, Dotson first gave $2,300 to support Barack Obama for president. Then Dotson gave $1,000 backing Bernie Sanders, the socialist. And while he now claims to live in Jackson Hole, Dotson built a multi-million dollar home in California. Oh, and before running for Senate, Dotson first had to switch parties, becoming a Wyoming Republican only months ago. If Massachusetts and Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders and California all came first for David Dotson, doesn't that mean that he's putting Wyoming last? I'm John Barrasso, candidate for U.S. Senate, and I approve this message. Paid for by friends of John Barrasso. Barrasso for Wyoming.com. For over 100 years, it's agriculture that has been the lifeblood of Southeast Wyoming. Same goes for Wyoming Bank and Trust, providing financing for land, livestock purchases, operating lines of credit, buildings, and equipment. Kevin Kosicki in the Cheyenne office and Toby Hytrek and Burns understand your farm and ranch needs. Call today and let one of our experienced ag lenders help you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. On the farm or in the field, Four Rivers Equipment and John Deere will help you bring it in from the field to the table. Right now, get a John Deere 5045E 50 horsepower tractor starting at $261 a month and add a loader for just $59 a month more. Four Rivers Equipment, your working partner. Visit fourriversequipment.com slash field to table. Ends 103118 must finance with John Deere Financial. Some restrictions apply. See dealer for details. When you're a part of a team, you inspire others. You inspire your teammates to go the extra mile and you bring communities together. At Cheyenne Regional Medical Center, we believe healthcare should be like that too. We want to inspire each other and our community members to go the extra mile with their health. Healthcare is a team effort and we work together to give you the best care possible. Visit our website at CheyenneRegional.org to learn about our services and providers. Cheyenne Regional Medical Center. We inspire great health. Spend some time in the conservative underground with Sean Hannity. Weekdays at 1 and Sunday mornings at 8 on AM 650, KGAB and KGAB.com. Stuck at 64 degrees, AM 650, KGAB Radio. My name is Glenn Woods. Dr. Taylor Haynes sitting across from me. Which, by the way, good to see you. We don't, I, I bump into you now and then. Right. We don't see each other that often, so... I wish you would move like back into the Cheyenne area, Cheyenne area, so we can you know run into each other once in a while. Let's get back to the phones here. This is Glenn. Who's on with us? Hi there. Uh, this is Steve. Yes, sir. And uh, I have a short comment on an important uh, question. Uh, Doctor Haynes, uh, known you for quite some time, and one thing I really appreciate is the way when someone asks you a question, what you would do as governor, you come back with article section and paragraph of the U.S. Constitution and tell them what you were going to do. I think that's something refreshing that I've never heard from just about anybody. But um, the question that I have, I've heard you talk about what your first order of business would be upon being elected, and it has something to do with what if the federal government walks into my business and uh, tries to uh, bully me into... Uh, doing something that totally violates their Tenth Amendment uh, reach, doing something that the Const they have enumerated rights as the federal government, and they try to go way beyond that and do something in my business. Um, what are you going to do about that? Well, thank you for that question. I love it. Uh, there are 18 enumerated rights. I want What I'm going to do is we're going to protect you right away. So what I want any citizen to do in that situation, I want you to call your local sheriff and call my office at the same time. It's in the sheriff's best interest and in their authority and duty to protect the citizen from all interlopers like the federal government. And if they don't immediately respond, having called my office, we will be there as well. But we will be there to back up the sheriff. And if the sheriff hasn't responded, we will. 
We will protect all our citizens using the Constitution. And that's whether it's in a place of business on Main Street or on a ranch or out on the highway. So thank you for that question. Okay, got one more. We're going to try to squeeze it in for the end of the show. This is Glenn. Who's on the phone with us? Sarah. Sarah, what you got? Um, yes, I was wondering if um, if Dr. Haynes was unequivocally or dead set he's a Wyoming resident, then why did he waive the right to a speedy hearing to alleviate all these issues? I've heard that question before. We didn't waive the right. The judge threw the case out because they brought that injunction part of their case in too short a time to meet the standard that the courts and that the legislature have said. We didn't bring the case, and we didn't throw it out, and we didn't waive anything. The judge made that decision on his own based on due process. Are there still questions in court that you have to go back to court for, for well, or to settle? Well, there can be, because the question is they want the judge to say I'm a citizen. So and I'm sure he can rely on the Prosser case as already decided by Judge Raper oh, way back years ago. Okay. So uh, that means that after we get through the primaries, we still may see you in court again over this? Possibly. Possibly. Okay. Possibly. But the problem is the facts don't change that I'm unequivocally a Wyoming citizen and see there's no evidence to the contrary. None. I can squeeze in one more call, so we've got to make this do. quick. Do. Hello, sir. Who's on the phone with us? Um, yes, this is Sarah again. Hmm. And I was wondering, where is it that he pays his taxes for his house? We pay taxes to Albany County, and we pay property tax in Colorado because okay. we own quite a bit of property there, and also pay property taxes in Louisiana and Utah. This oh, makes me wonder, an interesting uh, question for Colorado. I know that if I went and got a job,